In order to see God's grace, you have to have experienced it. There are people who don't see the grace of God because they haven't experienced the grace of God. If you haven't experienced the grace of God, you won't see God's grace in action. And somebody who doesn't know the grace of God personally will not recognize it when it's right before them. It's something that you have to have yourself to be able to rejoice over. It's like if I said to you, can you describe to me the taste of strawberry? I've never tasted a strawberry. Can you describe it? And there's no way that you can. Why? I've never tasted any. You can't put into words what a taste is like. If I'm unable to see, if I'm colorblind, and I say to you, can you please describe what red is? There's nothing you can say to me to help me to see it. Why? Because I can't see red. I can't see blue. I can't see any color. I'm colorblind. If I can't hear, I can't have you teach me or tell me what a sound is like if I've never heard a sound. It's just that way. What does a rose smell like? If I've never had the capacity to, to smell a rose or to know what smell is. And that's a whole thing. If, you, if you've never experienced the grace of God, you're never going to see it. You're not going to understand it. It's going to be beyond you. You're going to be one of those people who say, yeah, you stopped doing drugs. You'd stop doing it because you outgrew it. Yeah, you stopped drinking. You stopped drinking because you just grew up. That's not true. I can still remember when I was sharing with a friend of mine. His name is Eddie. And I had said to him, you know, Eddie, because Eddie and I had gone through high school together. We're good friends for a long time. And, and I had gotten saved. I went in the military, got out. I went to visit him. And I, and I shared with my friend Eddie. I said, you know what? I gave my heart to Christ, man. He says, well, that's nice. And I said, well, it is nice. I said, Eddie, I don't drink anymore. I don't do drugs anymore. He said, didn't you just outgrow that? And the fact is, no, you don't outgrow sin. You refine it. You get better at it. You know, you can begin to lie when you're a little kid. You'll get caught. Why? Because little kids aren't good liars. But if you practice, you can become president. I mean, you can learn how to lie. <laughs> Sorry, had to throw that in. Okay, forgive me. Forgive me, we'll go, we'll, we'll go forward. Marie's giving me a look. Okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. But grace is something you experience, right? And when you know what grace is, you can see it when God is showing it, right? That's how it works.